welcome back to a new video in today's video i'm going to be using just this color milky way from uh, madame glam it's actually a kind of gray gel polish the label on the front is a little bit bit misleading because it's kind of like a green but i'm sure this is just maybe it's like a green gray and i just can't see it i don't know i'm not very good with describing colors but we're going to apply two coats of this to each of our nails each coat will need a 30 second cure in the led lamp then i'm going to use madame glam's white gel polish so this bit that we're doing here doesn't have to be neat but it's just to give us an idea later of where we're going to put our um, we, we kind of want an idea of where we're going to put our detail of the nail. Now, this is a recreation, actually. I should tell you that. So this is the set I saw. And I was like, oh, I've got the Madame Glam textured gel paint, which I thought would be amazing for this. So trace out an S. And then you want to do an N and an O and a W as well. And pop those in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. So this was me telling you I'm going to do those as well. So don't worry if they're a little bit messy, it doesn't matter. Um, at some point we're gonna use the base coat because we're gonna apply this Snow Angel Glitter. It's one of the new ones from Nail Sugar and you can save 10% on any Nail Sugar items using my code NATMUG10. This has got the big snowflakes in, but we're not gonna use the big snowflakes in today's set. I'm also gonna use the green and red gel paint from Madame Glam for this next part. So I actually switched um, I actually got the brown gel paint out as well, but on the, the nails that I saw, she done, she had some like little uh, snowflakes. Snowflakes, is that what they are? Yes, they are snowflakes. I had to, but my brain didn't want to, I was like, hang on, that doesn't sound right. Yeah, so coming off the nail, we're doing a snowflake and there are so many ways to do different snowflakes. I'm kind of copying-ish what she done. So I just press my brush down and then i do a kind of curve towards the arm of the snowflake i'm sure i called them arms last year as well but you know what i mean if you find this too difficult you do whatever kind of pattern snowflake you find the easiest it's there's no you know there's no rules basically do whatever you like <laughs> Oh, within reason but i'm talking about the nails do whatever you like on those i'm trying to find some socks i've got to get oh, pardon me i just bet i to get my children in a minute and i can't find any socks and then also we're going to add some little twigs now the twigs i actually went over with brown gel paint and on the other nails i done them with brown also um just because the the white looked a little bit it was too much so we're adding some little twigs we're also going to add a little star down the bottom here it could be a mini snowflake but actually it's going to be a star because why not and then this yeah so this is me adding the twigs because we're going to add some berries and some leaves so i'm going to pop that in the lamp for a cure and there you can just flash cure if you want but we're going to add some little leaves now i think i added four or five on this nail i think on the other nails i only kind of do about three I want to get this voiceover done before I leave, but it means I'm cutting it fine. <laughs> so don't, you just do as many leaves as you like. Don't, I mean, if you don't want to do like hundreds, don't do hundreds. If you want to do more than two, then you do more than two. But before I cure that, I'm going to add my little dots where I added the, the white twigs that are going to be brown twigs on the other nails. And I did actually go over the white twigs with some brown gel paint, so... The dots, you just use a dotting tool to add the berries. Whoops. Like that. And that can go in the lamp for a full cure. Then we're going to do something similar on all the others. Now we're going to go back to our base coat. We're going to need the base coat to apply the glitter. So I was just going to do it in little sections, but I decided just to go over the whole nail with the base coat just because it was going to be um, a lot easier. And then I'm going to tip out some of this glitter onto a glitter tray. Look how pretty it is. That would look really nice just on a white background but we're just going to pick bits of the glitter out that we want to put on the i feel like i'm not doing the glitter much justice because i'm not really using a lot of it so i will have to try and use this again but 
if you're not in the nail sugar group go in the nail sugar group because Karen sometimes does well actually she always does swatches of um, any new glitters so if you go in the group and just sort of search up the name of any glitter that you'd like to see that's on the website there will be probably be posts on the on the Facebook groups to show you the glitters oh that was my eyeballs <laughs> So I'm not adding much on. I literally just want a little sort of sprinkle. Just to, you know, there we go. Look, I've even added one of the little stars. And then I'm going to do the same thing on all of these nails as well. Just add in a few little bits of glitter here and there. I don't want to go too mad because... The, yeah whoops I'm knocking things over now so once I've done all of the nails I will pop these in the lamp for a 30 second cure and then we're going to seal everything in with the velvet matte top coat you might want to go over with a thin coat of uh, builder gel clear builder gel if you know just to kind of smooth the nail out but um so I'm using the velvet matte top coat it's not going to notice it doesn't like the velvet matte top coat is really good at hiding any bumps in the nails so there we go just a little tip um right this is the textured gel paint that i'm going to use i don't know if you can see but it's like a kind of it's almost like a little i don't know it's like little bubbles in it but i thought this would be ideal to make the snow so what we're going to do is the template of the letters that we made earlier we're just going to go over them with the white texture gel and I mean these nails did take me quite some time because I was trying to be quite precise with the you know making the letters and stuff because I wanted to be able to know where I was going to put the snowflakes and stuff but anyway it's a thing but there we go I've cut the video down quite short but right once they're all that's sorry covered I'm going to do the same on these we're just going to cover the white and then you cure that for 60 seconds and this is literally then done <laughs> so i hope you like them if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads websites and discount codes will be below along with the link to the inspiration text set as well so god bless love you all and i'll see you in the next one love you bye